Episode of Doki Doki Literature Club Plus. Me. Uh. You turned it. I did not. It is turning on its own. It is the wire. You don't. Don't turn it. You keep t your feet are on the wire. Okay, so last time we did Understanding Part Two, and we learned a lot about Yuri. That she doesn't like to be touched without consent. But yet still likes it. As long as it's safe. Yeah. Um, so now we're up to respect. Part one. Begin this sad story. Another day in an empty classroom. It's been several weeks since the club has officially started. Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> Though their eternal set, yeah, internal setbacks. Initial. Initial. Initial setback. Initial. The three club members so far, Monica, Sayori, and Yuri, have increased their collective bonds within the club. Sayori has partaken in some of Yuri's high fantasy literature, and all three of them, led by Sayori, have taken interest in poetry. Yay. Ah, it's starting to shape up a little bit. On a day like any other, the three find themselves suddenly interrupted by the cl uh, club room door opening. And in walks a girl none of them have seen before. I, I don't think I can do two different girls. <laughs> well... Voices, at least. <laughs> I'm up for anything. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, God, this should be interesting. Hi! <laughs> I did. Sayori tugs excitedly at Monica's sleeve. Yuri shifts... <laughs> shits. <laughs> Yuri shits in her seat. <laughs> in her seat and buries her eyes in her book. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Maybe no one yeah, will notice that was me. <laughs> it was the book. <laughs> shifts. I don't know. I like shifts better. Oh no, new person. Fence <laughs> mechanism. <laughs> Maybe this one will hug me if I pour water. Pull <laughs> <laughs> myself. They won't hug me. Uh, <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Justin. <Yeah. laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you here for the literature club? Yeah! Yay, that's great. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> it's kind of small club still, so it's really exciting to see new faces. Yeah! <clears throat> Come and sit down somewhere. You can sit next to my desk. Yeah, Yuri shit herself, so I wouldn't sit by her. <laughs> Sayori prances over to her desk and presses her palms into it. It's right here. That's just messy. Oh, and Yuri can make some tea. Yeah, yeah she <laughs> made some chocolate. Now she can make some tea. Uh, uh, I can't get up right now. <laughs> but stuck. <laughs> I'm doing it over here. Okay, I think I'm good to go. Yuri looks up at Sayori in protest for having drawn attention to her. Natsuki uh, silently glances between everyone, then sits down next to Sayori. Monica followed by sitting near her. Suddenly, the gathering prompts Yuri to stand up, deciding that standing in the corner and making tea does not sound so bad after all. Okay, that, then how about we all introduce ourselves? Okay! 
Well, I'm Monica. I'm the one who started the club. I was originally in the debate club, but I really wanted to do something I felt passionate about, It, if that makes sense. So I started the literature club as a way for people to express themselves through writing or reading or whatever other kind of literature. You know, I figured it was your club. You have that vibe. <laughs> I have that vibe. Oh, you know, like... Never mind. I'm not gonna judge people I just met like that. Very adult of... Adult like of you. you wanna make her squeak? I think... See, I picture her being more of the high-pitched one. Like, I, I do picture her being maybe more high-pitched than Sayori, which is good, because I can't go any oh higher. God. Oh, God. Oh, man. Shucks, guys. That's so bad. What, you don't like it? <laughs> I always judge people so hard. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, you don't, Sayori. <laughs> Yes, she does. <laughs> Yuri uh, just in the background. Yep. Uh, she hugged you, too. Yuri's this pan voice, deadpan voice carries across the room. Natsuki giggles. <laughs> I'm Sayori. <laughs> Sayori. <laughs> Sorry, I lisp occasionally. <laughs> That's Sayori with his S. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just like that. <laughs> I, I just like learning about everyone and making friends. Oh, and I also like poetry. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Very adult like of you. Better. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an adult. <laughs> I'm in danger. Danger. The sound of Yuri's electric kettle steaming up fills the room. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's Yuri. Oh, me. Sayori lowers her voice. That's Yuri. <laughs> she's kind of shy, but she's really nice and super smart. She likes big fancy books and tea. Uh, fantasy books. Oh, well, a big fantasy book and tea. And I love her. Well, I guess that leaves me then. I'm Natsuki. <laughs> I like listening to music and hanging out downtown and stuff. And my favorite ice cream flavor is strawberry. Like my hair. <laughs> That's how I got it this color. <laughs> oh, let's get ice cream. I'm hungry. My favorite flavor is probably... Bubblegum. Cookie dough? Or maybe chocolate? It's cookie dough! <laughs> she is my spirit animal. Yeah. Oh my god. And Monica... Monica's is probably... Probably vanilla. She's plain. Yes. Vanilla. I had to dump Monica. But she's vanilla. What the heck? She's like basic white girl. <laughs> she like pumpkin spice. Oh. Yuck. I take it too many online quizzes. The ice cream ones are always accurate. What's yours? Oh, your uh, hey um. What's Yuri's favorite? Death and sorrow. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's super. Probably green tea. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> I'm not joking. I have no idea for Yuri. Still, pretty chill here. Do you just like hang out, or do you actually do club stuff? Uh, well, we do stuff too. Club stuff too. 
It just hasn't been very structured yet since we only have like three members, so we kind of just loosely spend our time doing the stuff we like. But I keep thinking it's about time we start with like some more structured club activities. It's been a while by now since I started the club, so yeah. Well, with that being said, what kind of literature are you into, Natsuki? Anything you'd like to the club to get into? Ah, uh, well, I guess I'm... Literature? <laughs> what the? Well, I like manga. Manga? <laughs> what the hell's that? Hey, why'd you say it like that? <laughs> I want to read manga in the club! <laughs> Wait, hold on a second. Oh, say hurry, you're like an innocent puppy. <laughs> that sounds so great, like, after all I've been doing... Wait, shit, that sounds great, so... Fuck, god, okay, that sounds so great. Like, after all I've been doing, all this, mmm... -hmm. I tried to read it way too fast for my brain to comprehend. Yeah. Yuri returns to the desk with a tray of teacups, which she sets down on an empty desk. After all the deep and immersive reading I've been doing, I wouldn't mind doing some li uh, a little more simple. Manga isn't simple. You gotta read it right. Left. It's confusing. Oh. Backwards. Then there's all these boxes with pictures and words and pow! Wop! Get back! <laughs> yeah, you might want to continue on. <laughs> if you think that you just don't understand, then. What? Nuance? <laughs> Nuance. <laughs> Nuance. <laughs> ha! I some figured out a word before you. Some words don't look right when you go to say them. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <gasps> ah, I didn't mean simple like that. Well, anyway. Putting mango aside, is there any other kind of literature that you're interested in? Well, not really. In that case, have you considered the anime club? Oh, Monica. Are you serious? I'm not gonna join the anime club. It's full of weird guys. Come on. Is it that big a deal? Manga is literature, right? Um. I mean, I guess if you consider the the literal definition of literature, then technically... I get it. Look. I'll do whatever club activities you want. Can I please just join? I won't bother anyone. If I can't just, like, keep my manga here and hang out after school, I'll do literally whatever you want me to. That's fine, right? Yeah, I guess there's nothing wrong with that. Oh my god, thank you! You're the best! I have most of it crammed into my locker, so I'm gonna start getting it, okay? Natsuki stands up. I need some help! <sighs> need some help? Nah, I got it! <laughs> I don't want you to see my locker. Ha ha ha. If you say so, but there's no way it's worse than mine. They hope we never find out then. I have a body in mine. Oh, I was the body in mine. Natsuki Ekans. 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 Natsuki exits the club room, leaving everyone in silence. 
save save for the sound of Yuri's sipping her tea. Ugh, I'm such a pushover. No, you're not, Monica. Hey, it's not that bad. Natsuki seems like a lot of fun. Maybe, but I mean... She has no act like actual interest in literature, you know? And that's normally fine, but she said she would participate in club activities like it's some kind of obligation. Her tea is going to get cold. Yeah. Wait, that's not related. Well, I think everyone deserves a chance. Especially if we can bring that, yeah, if we can bring her happiness. Besides, maybe she'll take the little liking. All right. <clears throat> Besides, maybe she'll take a liking to literature. Are you sure you don't just want to read her manga, Sayori? Hey, who do you think I am? Sorry, I didn't mean that. Yes, I do want to read. I just feel really uneasy about this. Do you have any opinion, Yuri? Not particularly. She said she wasn't going to bother anyone. And that includes me, so... <laughs> She's like, not bothered enough. I'm... She's in. So does that mean I bother you? No, you're a pleasure to be around. <laughs> well, she's going to hell away. <laughs> I was just finished fishing for a compliment. I know. But still, I really think we should give her a chance. Yeah, alright. But I really am going to start enforcing club, club activities. I'm willing to cooperate. Suddenly, the three of them near a thump against the door. Oh, near God. They hear. Suddenly, the three of them hear a thump against the door. What was that? Ooh, shiny. Sayori stands up and walks over to the door and opens it. Ah, oh, wait. Thank you. Carrying three boxes of what is presumptively manga, Natsuki grunts and wobbles inside before slowly bending over and dropping the stack onto the floor as gently as she can. That's quite a collection. <laughs> She's like, oh, wow, what do I got myself into? <laughs> Sayori giggles in excitement while catching her breath, Natsuki replies. There's still one more box. <laughs> There's still one more box! I can put them away myself. I know how to organize them. Uh. Monica anxiously glances between Sayori and Yuri. Is this really okay for the club? Maybe this is what she needs to really kick the club into gear before anyone gets to... Complaint. Complaint. Wait. It seems like everything, like, things are finally going to start going more serious. At the next club meeting, Monica is the first to arrive. But ever since Nasuki joined, she feels a lot she feels a lot less stress. Oh. A lot more stress. Yeah, pretty much. Why am I so nervous? Monica paces, trying to figure out her feelings. Natsuki said she wasn't going to bother anyone, so why does it feel like the atmosphere has changed so much? While Monica thinks the club room door opens, revealing Natsuki carrying a box. Dot, dot, dot. Dot, dot, dot. 
<laughs> Monica forces a smile as Nasuki makes her way into the closet. Nasuki forces one in return. Need help? No, I got it. Oh, this is the first time we've seen Monica over by the closet. Monica awkwardly tries to start some kind of conversation, but it fails. Curious, she peeks into the closet where Nasuki is stashing all of her manga. Once dull with school supplies, she show, uh, the shelves are now vibrant and bright colored and cute looking artwork. You know, the top shelves are pretty empty. Maybe you could keep it up there. I can't reach it up there. That would be so inconvenient. Yeah, but... Monica sighs. The teachers are going to ask what all this manga is doing in here, and I have to tell them it's for the literature club. So? Dot, dot, dot. Monica backs off and slums, slumps, slumps into her desk. With this kind of tension, it feels like the relaxed atmosphere accumulated over the past few weeks is being sucked right out of the room. <laughs> good afternoon! It's good afternoon! <laughs> No spaces. Sayori spins into her into the club room. Wee! Oh, I see someone's in a good mood. It's the medication. <laughs> yeah. Because I have this. Sayori brainwashes. Brandishes. Brandishes a cookie wrapped in plastic. She brainwashed the cookie. <laughs> I found some money and got a cookie. Oh, it's so pretty. Sayori trots over to her over to the closet of the colorful shelves that catch her eye. Which one do I start with? Well, you can start by giving me a bite of that cookie. No way, it's my cookie, bitch. I saved up all my luck and found money. <laughs> if you if you want entry into my kingdom, you need to pay the tax, peasant. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! Defeated, Sayori unwraps the cookie and breaks the piece off for Natsuki. Then you're a uh, silently. Walks into the club room. Then you're a silently walks. <laughs> you're, a, you're, you're, a, a, you're a. I just picture like a. You're a. a <laughs> just picture like a shadow going in the room. <laughs> Monica glances at her with pleading eyes. Yuri returns the quick nod of understanding. Well, everyone's here now. Despite the club only having one more person than before, it somehow feels twice as lively. Okay, so I think today we should go over some potential club activities and see which one we want to do first. We have four members now, so it would be great if we found some stuff to do as a group. Does that sound good to everyone? I agree. Okay, so I have some ideas of my own, but I want to hear your ideas too. Well, I've been having a lot of fun learning about everyone else's interests. Maybe we can give each person a day to share their favorite kind of literature with everyone else. Well, maybe. Something. Something tells me that. Monica glances at Yuri and Natsuki, 
both who appear very unwilling to even consider each other's interest. Maybe we can try to come up with something that everyone can enjoy equally. You know, like we all vote on a book to read or something like that. I think we should all collectively try to expand our interests rather than just stick to the things we're familiar with. Why does it feel like I'm being targeted here? Natsuki, didn't you say that you would go along with whatever the club wanted to do? Well, yeah, but that doesn't make it okay for you to ignore everyone else's preferences. I like Sayori's suggestion. 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 question. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, but um, Monica's voice trials off. Right. Though she let Nasuki join the club, Monica finds it extremely difficult to revent to relent to her demands. She said she doesn't negotiate with terrorists. <laughs> If Nasuki doesn't respect the club, why should Monica have to yield to Nasuki's opinions on anything? Nasuki, are you sure that you don't have any other literature interests you could share with the club? I swear I don't mind if you keep your manga in here, but I just... Natsuki cuts Monica off by suddenly standing up. It's obvious that I'm not wanted here, so I'm just going to leave. But I really would have appreciated you being more upfront about it. Okay, I think you kind of jump into conclusions here, but you're free to do whatever you want. Dot, dot, dot. Aww. Natsuki shoots Monica a quick glare before walking straight out of the room. Oh no! Sayori runs after her, leaving just Monica and Yuri. For the second time today, Monica slums down into her desk. Why am I such a jerk? No, she's a jerk. She's just making me feel this way. Monica looks up at Yuri, seeking. <laughs> A firmness, affirmation. affirmation. Yuri looks away. She probably just went around looking for the smallest club so she could find that she could find so that she doesn't have to participate. How does she expect me to give her respect when she has no respect for the club? Am I wrong, Yuri? I'm not. I'm not good at these things. Monica sighs. Me neither. I just have no idea what to do. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I feel like it's not wrong to enforce the club vision. You know, like, people should join because they want to express their passion for literature, or at least develop it. So, maybe she's not a good fit for the club after all. Monica sits in silence, afraid to accept te her tentative. tentative conclusion. Yuri looks tense, but she doesn't seem to want to add anything. You can. Sorry. Um, you can go back to reading. I know this doesn't concern you. It does. It does? How? Well, I just can't comfortably read in an atmosphere where the peace has been disturbed. Oh. Well, great. I'm just ruining the club for the whole club, then. That's not an accurate conclusion to make. Pretty close. I know. I'm sorry. 
I'm just kind of voicing my frustrations and I guess guilt. It's like my frustration wants to blame her, but my guilt wants to blame me. Ugh, why is it the hardest to be rational during the times you need it the most? I don't think you're being irrational. I think Natsuki is. She has no authority to walk in here and make demands of the club, your club. Something as ridiculous as manga has no place here. The fact that you're even storing it for her should make her completely indebted to you. Well, you're right, but I don't know. Isn't it kind of harsh to say things like it's ridiculous and it has no place here? Do you not feel the same way? You've been doing everything you can to avoid associating the club with it. So I assumed you felt the same way about it. That's not true. Well... Recalling her confrontations with Nasuki and realizing st starts to set in. Hmm. You may be right. I mean, if it was anything besides Banga, would I really be acting like this? Maybe I've just been convincing myself that it has nothing to do with the Banga. I'm really upset that I would let myself do that. With a sigh, Monica walks over to the closet. She finds herself staring at the colorful shelves. It's just, this really wasn't what I had in mind for the club about literature. There shouldn't be anything wrong with that. Monica starts defining her position once again. Defending. I really thought it, it just didn't matter, I guess. Oh, you need it's a complicated issue that Monica has failed to consider before now. There is a line even drawn that what is considered literature. Lost in thought, she reaches into one of the large boxes and pulls out a volume, inspecting it for no particular reason. The cover features four girls striking striking cute and exaggerated, and exaggerated poses. poses all dressed in short skirts yeah i mean amused by the absurd absurdity of the cover monica opens the book oh no we're gonna see pick oh. no we're not apparently Next time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Next time. We see... Th I don't know. I don't know what happens next time. Maybe we'll see the book. Maybe, Maybe we'll see. Maybe we won't see the book. Well, I hope everybody enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Tune in again. Bye-bye. <laughs>